So today I'm gonna to show you how to add a bank account on file for your Charles Schwab account. And you can see here, we are currently on the web browser version, taking you step by step. So here we are on the main page of our Charles Schwab account. You can see we are under accounts. And speaking of being up here towards our accounts, we actually wanna to move to the right a couple of spaces and look for the section that says move money. Now we went ahead and cleaned up everything on the screen here. So if we actually go ahead and tap over on move money, we got a whole new section right over here for us. And on the left side of the screen, if we scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see a section that says external accounts. This is the one we want to go ahead and click on. Now here in the move money external account section, you can see it says manage your external bank accounts. You can actually delete your accounts if needed. Um, and then right over here, there is going to be a section where you can go ahead and add an account. And that's what we're going to go ahead and click on today. So next up here, it's going to ask you to go ahead and select which Schwab account you're going to want this external account linked up to. So if we go ahead and tap right over here where it says select account, you're going to see a menu option drop over here for a couple different accounts. Now we do have a Schwab bank account as well as the brokerage account. And you can see we actually have multiple accounts such as an HSA and our individual brokerage. So click the option that works best for you on which account you want this external account attached to. Now, once you went ahead and did that, we went back to this screen right over here where it went ahead and added that individual account that we are currently using. And now we're gonna go ahead and click on the continue button to go to the next page. Now, right over here, this next section, it is just going over the external account information as well as the terms and conditions. If you wanna click on them, you can. Something to keep in mind as they go through this, it is going to send a small dollar amount under $1 for two little transactions to go ahead and verify the bank account to have them linked up together. So you'll come back in here and go through the process of verifying those small deposits. If everything is understood here, we're gonna go ahead and click on continue. All right, so in this next section here, it is gonna ask for some information when it comes to the external account, such as which type it is, whether it's a checking or savings. For us, we're gonna go with a checking account. And here it's gonna ask if you are the external account holder, and we're gonna go ahead and tap on yes here. Once we go ahead and click on these two options, a new set of settings are gonna show up here at the very bottom for us to go ahead and put in the account number and the routing number, and it is going to have us confirm both of those options. Once we go ahead and fill those out, we're gonna scroll down here to the terms and conditions. And if we go scroll all the way to the bottom of the terms and conditions, you're gonna see right over here for you to be able to check off this box and click on submit. So on this next page here, it is what we kind of mentioned earlier, which is they're going to send some small deposits over to that account within a couple of business days. So we're just gonna come back in here at some point and go ahead and verify those little deposits. And you can see right over here, it is under a dollar total. Once everything looks good here, as far as understanding, we're gonna go ahead and click on continue for verification. And now we're back at the manage external accounts section. And you can see that our new account right over here is pending because it is gonna have that deposit go through in the next couple of days. Once that deposit comes through, we can go back through the steps to get to our move money to external accounts and then come over here and put in those small deposits to verify our new bank. And then from there, we're ready to go ahead and start transferring money into our Charles Schwab account, which I got you covered. We're going to have a video right over here on screen to show you exactly how to add money to your Charles Schwab account.